like all good stories, this one started with a dinner party. We were having dinner, and we were talking about where we were going next, and I told Logan, oh yeah, we're driving to Utah on Sunday, and he was like, you're driving to Utah on Sunday. Does that mean you're not skiing on Sunday? And I said, yeah, that's probably correct, because I'm practicing Monday, so I'd like to take a day off of skiing. And he was like, oh, well, we should go goose hunting. Sunday morning before you drive for eight, for eight hours. And I said, absolutely, that's 100% a good idea. And so here we are, let's go. Okay, so here, this is what we have. We have uh, many of these goose decoys of various types, because we want to convince them that they're an actual flock of geese. And so we're gonna lay them out here. Uh, geese, the wind is going this direction right now. Uh, geese generally like to land into the wind, so we're gonna make kind of a U shape here with us in the middle of it, so that they wanna land right in front of us. We wanna get them as close as possible for ice, since he's never shot a goose before. And uh, we're just gonna have some fun. It's gonna be interesting. We're not in the uh, not in the most epic feel that we were in last time, but I still think I still have a good feeling about it. Let's make it happen. Another fire flame morning of uh, goose hunting. We got five graders on the ground. Is that are they all graders? Yeah. Five graders, which is my first five graders ever. And uh, needless to say, things are looking good. Uh, we I felt like we were on the wrong flight path for a while, but things are starting to fly right over us, and they're starting to give our decoys a nice look. Mostly long shots, but uh, you know that's how it is. Tell me some more about how uh, how we got access to hunt this farm. I thought that was kind of a cool story. Yeah, so do a lot of just knocking on doors, or as I was explaining to you, trying to catch people, you know, when they're out checking their mail or mowing their lawn or whatever. And yeah, I uh, asked this guy last summer if it'd be all right if we, you know, hunt his land. And I always kind of offer, you know, if you need any help around the farm or anything like that, I'd be more than willing to help you out. And he said, sure. So then I, and I always tell people, you know, I'll either call you or ask you the day before I come out just so they're, you know, they know we're coming. So yeah, yesterday it was like, is it right if we come out? It's like, absolutely have at it, so. Sweet. Here we are. Here we are, and we're at uh, what, 12 birds in? 10 birds in? Yeah, I don't know, we're in. I think we're at 10. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to shoot, but every time I got, I want to die. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know why we had to pick up this easy bird. <laughs> so there we have it. That is our day of goose hunting. As you can see, we did pretty well. Uh, these are some of the biggest geese I've ever seen. I think the ones we were shooting the last time were about this big. So uh, even though we shot fewer of them this time, I feel still feel pretty good. I think we can walk away with our heads held high. I'm very excited. Thankful to Logan. Uh, for taking us back out and uh, looking forward to the next time I can pull this off. If you guys have not tried this, definitely get into it.